in case you haven't figured it out, today's video is going to be all about purses. So this is the mess of purses that I have now. So if you guys could give me some suggestions on how to fix this mess, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, so I'm going to start off by just going through some of my favorite bags with you guys, starting with this one. This is a Kate Spade Pucker Up bag. bag. Generally, I like a bag with more structure, um, but the reason I claim this as one of my favorite bags is because it is the first present that my husband ever gave me when we were back dating. Um, he gave it to me for a birthday present, and I loved it then. I love it more now. This has actually become sort of our movie bag, so when we go to the movies, I'll usually pop a bag of popcorn, put it in a gallon baggie, pop, toss it in here, a couple of flavored waters and some napkins, and we're good to go to the movies. So this is absolutely one of my favorite bags. Next up, we have this bag from Calvin Klein. And the reason that I love this bag so much is not because I still have hand wipes in there. It's a very roomy on the inside. As you can see, there's lots of storage. But it also has these two really nice pockets on the outside and they're big enough that I can fit my phone in one pocket and my keys in the other. So when I'm carrying it around, everything is just really nice and easy to get to. Plus it's a nice neutral color, so this goes with any outfit that you want to wear. As far as clutch bags go, this one is one of my favorite. I honestly don't think it's, it's really a brand name. Uh, but I love it because it just has sort of the magnetic shut. It has the handle that you can use to carry it with. However, this also folds down and you can just tuck it under your arm as a clutch, which is generally how I carry it. Um, there is a small zip pocket in there, which has lipstick in there. It's a good thing I'm doing this. I'm finding all kinds of stuff. Uh, but this is one of my favorite clutch bags. And my second favorite clutch bag is this one. This is a velvet bag, and I believe I actually got this from Victoria's Secret like years and years ago. Not a whole lot of room in there, but it's just a very classy looking bag. If you have a black tie event that you need to go to, this is a very nice bag. This is also one of my favorite clutch bags. This is again a Kate Spade bag. I just love the coloring of the pink and the black together. The inside, it does have a chain. If you want to just toss it on your arm, I usually just use it as a clutch. There are two sort of small, oh, no, it's just one small pocket and then one zip pocket on the inside. But I think this, again, is just a very nice, classic kind of clutch bag if that's the look that you're needing. Keeping with the Kate Spade theme, this is one of my favorite bags for summer. Obviously, the bright yellow. You can't beat this. It does have two separate zip pockets. I can toss my card and keys in one and my sunglasses in the other. And it's very handy. This strap is long enough that you can wear it as a crossbody if that's what you want to do. Uh, but it's the color that was really killing it for me. So again, this is another kind of unstructured bag, which I don't carry a lot. But I do love this bag when we're on vacation. Again, this strap is super long so you can wear it as a crossbody bag. And the reason I love this is there's a quick pocket here at the back that I can just stick my camera in. And it has lots of zip pockets here in the front. There's three separate zip pockets that I can put my credit cards in. If we're going like on a tour or something, I could put the tickets to the tour in here, any receipts that we might need. And of course, the inner part of the bag. Um, this is from Calvin Klein, and I think this is a great travel bag. That is about the only time I use this bag is when we're on vacation, because again, I like a more structured bag, but this is great for traveling. This is absolutely one of my all-time favorite bags. This is a Roberto Cavalli bag. We picked this up when we were in Dubai. 
I loved the color. That was the first thing that drew me to this. I love the gold detailing. The lining is gorgeous. It's kind of like an animal print lining. It has the studs on the bottom for when you put your purse down on the ground. It's not really going to damage the leather or anything. Um, it does not come with a shoulder strap. I rarely use a shoulder strap, but um, I do love these thick handles that it has. This is very comfortable to carry. The straps are very thick, and I, I just love the look of this bag. I love the color. I love everything about it. All right, we are going to be moving on to some coach bags now. Um, first of all is this little coach backpack. I originally bought this a few years ago because I was using it to go Christmas shopping. I um, had a heart issue and I was in the hospital for a while and I was very easily winded and it was very difficult for me to carry a bag um, like on my shoulder or even just you know carrying around on your arm. So this was a great alternative for me. Um, it was big enough I could put my credit card in there, I could put my sunglasses in there, um, anything else that I might need. It's not too bad, too big, you're not going to get a whole lot of stuff in there, um, but to just, you know, for a day out of shopping, it was perfect for me. This is one of my other favorite coach bags. I love a gray bag. They go with everything. You can use them in the summer, you can use them in the winter. This particular bag, I have a scarf I picked up in Paris tied to it. You have one pocket that zips, a pocket that snaps shut, and then you have another pocket that zips. And then in the pocket that snaps shut, you have other multiple pockets on the inside, a zip pocket and then two open pockets. So there is a ton of storage in this bag. Um, I, I carried this for a very long time before I finally switched it out and it was hard for me to give this up because there was so much storage and it's just a very classic looking bag. I love this bag. Another coach bag that I love is this little gold bag. You don't find this color a lot with bags, which is something that drew me to it. Um, again, it's a great summer bag. It's a great winter bag. It pretty much will go with anything. It's not too big. That is the inside. There's a couple of small pockets in there. Um, there's a zip pocket here on the back. You're not going to get a whole lot of stuff in here, but again, for an evening out or if it's just a day trip with your friends, uh, this would be a great bag. Another coach bag, of course, this is a white one. And on this one, I do use the shoulder strap. I'm not a huge sh shoulder strap girl, uh, but I do wear it with this just because these handles are so small, it's kind of hard to carry it around like on the crook of your elbow. But I love the color. You know, I... I don't think you can go wrong with a good white purse, just the same as you can't go wrong with a great black purse. Um, so yeah, I needed a white purse. This was perfect for me, and this is one of my favorite bags. All right, the last coach bag that I'm going to show you is this kind of moth colored bag. Again, it was the color that drew me to this. I got this last fall. I thought it was just a gorgeous color for fall. Um, it does have a pocket on the outside. It has a couple of pockets on the inside as well. And of course it has the studs on the bottom to protect it if you have to set it down on the floor. Um, I generally don't use the arm strap for this one. I will just carry it on my on the crook of my elbow with these handles. Um, but I put the strap on there so I wouldn't lose it. But I, I just absolutely loved the color of this bag. This is another backpack that goes on almost all of our travels with us. This is a Michael Kors backpack. Um, I love backpacks for traveling because I don't want to have to worry about carrying a purse around when we're out sightseeing. This is a rather large one. As you can see, it also has a little zip pocket here. We can just toss the hotel key in there so it's easy to get to. And then I can put you know, my billfold, sunglasses, camera, or anything else that I need in here. Um, it also has a zip pocket on each side, so if you have little things, you know, you want to stick a bottle of water in there or something, it's not going to zip shut, but you can certainly hold a bottle of water in there. And we take this, like I said, almost any time we travel, this is our main backpack that we take out when we're sightseeing. The last two bags that I'm going to show you, this one is a Kate Spade bag. Again, the brown color is what drew me to this. I love this bag. This is a bag that I have primarily been carrying this winter. 
Um, it just kind of has a magnetic close to it. And I do have stuff in here because I'm still using it. Um, it has a zip pocket. It's got two smaller open pockets. But what I love is this actually zips. And it's a pocket that goes all the way down behind the purse. Uh, so you can stick stuff down in there. You know, if you've got some extra money, maybe you're trying to hide or something. Uh, but I've been carrying this for most of the winter. And I'm, I still have all my stuff in here. So I need to choose a new bag to start carrying now that it's starting to get spring. But this has been a great bag. And the last bag that I'm going to show you guys, it's also a case spay bag. And it is this blue one. And I'm not sure if you can see the material. It's actually kind of a navy blue with a navy blue layer on top that has holes in it. Um, I am actually using this as my work bag. So as you can see, I have like my stethoscope in here. I have my blood pressure cuff in here. So um, this is the bag that I take to work every day with all of my nursing supplies in there. And um, I've been using this one since December. My mother-in-law actually gave this to me as a Christmas present. So thank you, Miss Joan. Uh, it's coming great. It's very handy. It's gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of use out of this bag. All right, you guys. So you have seen how many purses I have. That was just a few of my favorite ones that I shared with you. But I do need your help in how to arrange all of these. Um, I showed you the, the shelf that they're all just sort of sitting in on the closet and I need some better organization so I can make better uses of all the different colors and everything. So if you guys would just let me know down below any suggestions you guys have on how I can organize this whole mess, I would deeply, deeply appreciate it. Thank you in advance. All right, you guys, so that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope even more than that, that you guys have some great suggestions for me to organize all of this. Um, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. We post videos every Thursday, and we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.